Jeremy S. Cook here, and if you've been following along for a while, you've noticed that I've been trying to develop a better and better dust shoe. Here's one of my early attempts at a, a dust shoe for my CNC router. Not too effective, but once I made a deflector for the exhaust for my DeWalt 611 router, it actually worked pretty well. It is effective, but the only thing is that I have to attach clamps to the sides to hold it up with a, with a vacuum on it. So my new design actually eliminates this by making the magnets closer together and another trick, which probably isn't what you suspect, but I'll, I'll show how, how I did that later. One change I made was that I, I made the cavities for the disc magnets so they went all the way through the, um, the supports for the, the suction piece and, and for the piece that went on the, the router itself. This would actually make it so that I could put the disc magnets just down from the top and push them in. I wouldn't have to do any sort of, sort of side loading or anything else like I did before. That would be a really, really good improvement. I tried to make this wider too to support it better, but as you'll see in a little bit, that was a mistake, had some interference issues. So that's the part that clamps onto the router and that's the part that clamps onto the suction piece. And I'm just sliding the magnets in from the top there. I had to push them in all the way with a vise, but in later iterations, I would mostly eliminate this. There it goes, nicely pushed in. And just to keep it secure, I put some hot glue on it. Thought that would be a good thing to do it down with a heat sink and a, some compressed air. Probably unnecessary, but I was getting a little impatient. Gave me something to do at least. And after that was done, you can see the sides are a little bit, a little bit warped. I don't know if that's from the printing process, from the hot glue, or from actually, actually plugging in in with the, the vise. But it wasn't was off just a little bit. And you can see there the, the problem with the clearance on the back of the router. Mark that off with with a marker and then cut it on a router. Probably should have supported the sides, but I did not. I was pretty sure I'd be remaking this anyway at this point. Put some hot glue on the side just to seal everything up and then scraped it off with that piece of wood. And like before, I used I used compressed air to, to dry it a little bit faster. After that, it fit on okay. Put that on and with just half of it, half the magnets closer, I thought maybe it would work. It did not work. So on to the second phase where I extracted all the magnets. The, the nice thing is everything was built modularly. So even though I, I made these rings over and over and over, I didn't have to print the, the main piece over. Uh, that's still the original part that I made. So marked all the magnets to put align them correctly. And then then make a nice suction assembly for your DeWalt. 611 router. So there it goes there. Yep, looking pretty good there. And I thought maybe, maybe this would work. Magnets were nice and close, so push it up a little bit and it dropped right off. Well, maybe that was just an error. So I thought maybe I'd try it once more. Supporting with my hand and you can see there I look up and I think that's actually the moment of inspiration. Yes, at some point I figured out the problem wasn't making the magnets stronger. The problem was I could just, or the solution rather, was that I could just put the put the string, put some sort of cord up there and attach it to the ceiling, and that would support it just like my hand was supporting it. Should work pretty nicely. Uh, and, and certainly the improvements in the magnets being closer together helped as well. But after that, you could see I just put it there, going to the front, to the side, and, and just, just even with the thing on works really, really well. Not sure about that little operation there, but it goes left and right, back and forward. Everything's all good. Pretty awesome. And there's another view of it there with the suction hooked up and the vacuum on the side. It was working pretty well at this point, but I couldn't really consider it done with the giant, giant gash from the milling machine on the side. So I made it thinner again so it would be able to fit inside that gap between the router and the the uh, gantry part and then i added some supports on the top so i could slide in the magnets and just uh, rotate them 90 degrees to keep them in line also put these these radiuses on the inside the fillets to um, keep it from having any sort of support material that's the, the top that attaches the router itself. Remade that based on the bottom design. There it is printing. And then there's a bottom that attaches to the, to the suction piece. 
Now you might think that I'm I'm putting the magnets in here, but I'm actually actually taking them out, destroying the old old fixture by pressing the magnets out from the back. This worked really well, so it's something I'll have to keep in mind for future designs. Or I guess I could design it better in the first place. With those magnets pr procured, then it was in put into the fixture itself. You can see me ripping off the hot glue there and in the new design I didn't even need hot glue. So there I go pressing them in. Probably could have used something non-ferrous like uh, like plastic to push them in, but hindsight's 2020, I suppose. And then I had to tap this to attach it to the suction main suction piece. Some people use inserts for this, but I found tapping it works really well. It's a 1024 tap, and I guess if I was to t take it in or push it out and take it in over and over, it it would. Um, not hold up but for my uses it's been really good technique but everything here is you can download from github i'll put the link in the description so you don't have to go through this whole iteration process like like i did so there it goes looks pretty good there and there it is cutting out something something new it's actually going to be a new strand beast so stay tuned for that um i've got a few images and stuff on it on twitter if you want to follow me there at at Jeremy S. Cook but I'll, I'll have some actual produced videos here eventually that should be pretty awesome so if you like like walking robots definitely definitely stay tuned but if you like you know keeping your workshop clean then the download one of these and just print it that'd be that'd be great too if you did enjoy the video please consider subscribing leaving a thumbs up or even leaving me a comment thanks so much for watching this is Jeremy S. Cook signing off Pew, <laughs> pew,